Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that for over 150 videos I made on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, or you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. I don't have any codes to sell. Everything I do create, the codes on the videos and tutorials, everything I do post completely free on the channel. So, it's a win-win situation. But it's your decision, I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking, if this video helped you out. And if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to center the product price and the sale badge on your Shopify product page. And this is a really good one, because it will not just center in the badge for the sale, it will actually make the sale taking full width, I mean the sale badge taking full width, and it looks way, way better with the price on top of it in the middle as well. And this is, was a request, and the request was only centering the pricing. But that can create some issues if you have a discounted price. If the sale badge is showing up on the product page, that can have some issues because the width does not match anyway. This is a developer's <laughs> conversation you will not understand. But no worries, I will show you how to do that and it's really simple by using our own custom code. Without any more talking, Let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every call I do share, I do demonstration on the channel on this down, down team. Because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one from people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, the most used Shopify teams, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks, the codes on all of these teams behind the scenes. I don't do that in the videos, I don't bore people because like seven here or six teams, it's gonna take too long. I only do demonstration on down team in the video, but behind the scenes, I do actually try them on all of these teams. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out. And I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind, because you're gonna see me doing it on down team, and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And again, for the second time, let's just get to it and show you how to center the product price and the sale badge on the product page on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything that you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything, everything I on the Shopify store, I did show it on tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like and you think it looks good, you want to implement on your store as well, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here, that means it's already done and posted on the channel. Because I don't remove the changes here, I keep them so people can see them if you are interested in them. But what I'm talking about, let's just ask, this one is, has discounted price. So this one, for example. And yeah, the rounded corners for the product pictures, I did that in a video. <laughs> I will quit now, I promise. So this is what I'm talking about. The, disc, the price and discounted price and the sale badge. So we will center these, but it will only center these ones. If you do not do this trick that I'm showing you and you want to center just to keep this one, uh, this one as regular, this one's gonna be here. That's how Shopify layout works. So I don't know how to explain it, but in this video, as I said, uh, this one will be in the middle and this one will take the full width and it's gonna say sell again. And that will show you that in a moment. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are on Shopify dashboard, click on teams from here from online store and click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, simply use the search bar at the top left corner and again, I have to repeat this. I'm getting bored from repeat this. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. Some rare custom made teams is gonna be custom.css, but mostly they use now either base.css or team.css or style.css. In my case, I know it's base, I'm gonna type in base 
here is base.css click on it bunch of css call uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file let me drag this because it's a huge file here we go uh, we are at the bottom of the file but there is no space because we need to pass in some code obviously to create that space click front of the last thing in my case it's closing bracket then hit enter i mean click front of it then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we are a completely new line where we're gonna paste in our code and where are you gonna get that code from go hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link name of those code click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code in here as you can see this one will do the trick for us we'll center the product price with the price uh, i mean discount to the price and regular price as well and we'll make the sale badge taking full width and you will see that in a second so select the whole thing make sure to select the closing bracket as well right click copy get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create after that click on the save button we will wait for a couple of seconds we're good to go let's just get back in here reload the page and see the magic happens check it out now as you can see the pricing is in the middle but the sale badge is same size as the add to cart and buy it now if you want to add the shine effect i already made that video again as you can see it looks way better than the previous version and that's how you center the price for the product as well as the sale badge on the product page for your shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop on below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one